Hello everyone, Kyle here from Wide Awake PH and in today's episode, we'll be reviewing these, the Origami Flavor Cups. Okay, so let's say you're a coffee brewing enthusiast and you already have a good grinder, a gooseneck kettle, and a selection of brewers so that you could really explore the flavors of coffee. But you still find yourself asking the question, how do I make my coffee taste better? Well, the origami flavor cups have an answer for you. So how? How do these origami flavor cups contribute to a better brewing experience? Well, if we take a look at the shapes of the cups, there's something actually very interesting going on in here. Because given the way the cups are shaped, what they actually do is they modulate the presentation of flavors of the coffee. So let's take a deep dive and take a look at each cups and see how they do that. So the origami flavor cups comes in a collection of three, right? So when you buy a set, you get these three cups. This one is the aroma cup. This one is the Pinot Cup, and finally you have the Barrel Cup. So if we take a closer look at these three cups, they're all shaped very distinctively. And they all modulate the presentation of the flavors of the coffee differently. So first off, let's look at this one, the Aroma Cup. Well, this is my personal favorite. And that's because this wide mouth actually um, allows the, the, the drinker, the coffee drinker, to perceive the distinctive aromas of the coffee much better. And in turn, that increases the amount of transparency and flavor clarity that you perceive with your beverage. So moving on, we'll go to the opposite of this cup, which is this one, the barrel cup. So if you notice, it has a very small mouth. And what that does is it kind of closes off the aromas of your coffee. But in turn, because of the smaller mouth, um, the stream of the liquid enters towards the middle part of the tongue, thereby increasing the perception of body and sweetness. So that's a really cool effect if that's the kind of coffees you like. And of course, finally, we have this one, the Pinot Cup. And this is here because it's really in the middle of these two extremes. We have a very balanced presentation and it allows you to taste your coffee clearly, but not as clear as this. You get the sweetness of your coffee, but not as sweet as this. So this is, this is what you'd call an all-arounder. All right, so why are these cups cool and useful? Well, after using them for maybe a month now, let me explain to you why and how I found them useful in my day-to-day -day brewing routine. So let's say, for example, you have this very rich and sweet coffee with very little acidity. Then you may opt to use this cup, the barrel cup, and it will allow you to really double down on that sweetness. So for example, um, on my menu right now, or on the Wide Awake menu right now, there's this coffee called Brazil Ipanema. Dulce. And that coffee is a very sweet Brazilian coffee with not a lot of acidity. So I don't really want to focus my brewing experience on that coffee's acidity per se. So when I'm using this, I get all the great tasting notes of that coffee. I get a lot of the rich texture, the sweetness, that, that really delightful, smooth, nutty profile of that coffee. So it really takes my brewing experience up a notch when I brew that coffee a certain way and I use this cup. Or maybe we, we go to another example. Let's say you have a super special 90-point specialty coffee and you really want to savor the experience of that coffee. You know, you've brewed it very well, you're sure this is going to taste awesome. So why not we make it taste even more awesome? You use this cup, the Aroma Cup, which allows you to perceive all the little flavor notes present in that coffee. It can really allow you to pick apart that coffee and, and 
describe the flavor you're experiencing very, very clearly. So definitely this, I use this every day. Um, not because I brew 90 plus point coffee all the time, but it's because I enjoy that clarity and flavor transparency that this cup offers. And for our last example, let's say you have a great Ethiopian coffee as your daily driver kind of coffee. And today you're experimenting and the brew wasn't just quite right. For you, it tastes too acidic, too tart. And you know, when you paired it with this, it's kind of, uh, it's too, it's too sour. So maybe you can opt to use one of these two cups, right? Because what they do is they kind of dial down that acidity, that clarity. So when you opt to use one of these, you kind of, you're able to kind of save your brew and enjoy that coffee that much better. All right, so now we've gone over one of the two important aspects or functional aspects of these cups, right? So the first one is its ability to modulate the flavor presentation of your coffee. But now let's go on to the second functional aspect, which is the feeling you get when you use the cups or what kind of ambience do these cups impart to your coffee brewing experience day to day? So I think this is something you won't really get when you try them out in a store or when you, you know, when you use them for the first time. It's something you get when you use them day in and day out. Like how do they really contribute to my personal coffee brewing experience? So this is something that I want to relate to you given my time with them. So with regards to their aesthetics and the ambience they impart, it's important to consider the material that is used to make these cups. So the cups are made of porcelain and therefore they have this really beautiful and refined white exterior. And, um, and the way they're shaped, right, just sits so beautifully in the hand. So even if the cups are all shaped a little bit differently, they're shaped such that they're ergonomic to hold, right? It's easy to grip, right? It's, you're not afraid that it's gonna slip on you because they just really sit in the palm of the hand or in the hand like this really, really well. And also, because the cups are made of porcelain, they have this cool little feature that I really like and it's that when you, hold the, when you hold the cup, you kind of feel the temperature of the coffee. Um, so you know when it's good to drink or not good to drink, if it's too hot or if it's too cold. And additionally, when you have piping hot coffee that you pour into these cups, um, because the porcelain is a quite dense material, it kind of dissipates the heat rather quickly. So it helps bring down the brewing temperature to a level that's comfortable to drink. Much, quick, much quicker than a smaller cup would. So now we're nearing the end of a review and the question is, would I recommend these origami flavor cups to you? And I'd say yes, both objectively and subjectively. So objectively speaking, I recommend these cups because they deliver on their promise, which is to modulate the flavor presentation of the coffees you brew. And on that level, they succeed very much. And subjectively speaking, these cups, I really would recommend them because they really help elevate my personal coffee brewing experience to a higher level, right? So I get more enjoyment out of the coffees that I brew on a day-to-day -day basis. And on that alone, I think that makes these cups so much more value for money. Um, you know, like to give you an example, I've been using this before I bought these every day for my coffee brewing ritual. Uh, this is your, this is a Hario shot glass. And you know, now when I use this to taste my coffee, it just doesn't feel as special or even taste as good, right? Because this doesn't really allow me to fine tune the flavors of my coffee. It doesn't feel as good in the hand. It doesn't feel as special to use. And yeah, so that's why I recommend these cups. So thank you guys for watching. Check us out on YouTube, like and subscribe. 
And I hope you found this review useful and you could check these cups out.